Welcome Taurus to your mid-December love reading. Hope all of you guys are doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. We are going to look into the past, present, and future energy and see what is coming through. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Looks like you've been through a lot, okay, with an energy or with things that have already been revealed to you. Um... You have recovered through a lot of pain and went through a lot of disappointment, okay? I do feel an opportunity is coming in for you for sure, but things I feel are already revealed. Mm, okay. Now, the Ten of Rings is ha feeling that there's something's incomplete. Something doesn't, something feels like it's missing. The Judgment is also stating that there has been a lot of people I feel around you that you had to make hard choices to leave in the past okay there's like a want of a commitment in the end you have to make those hard choices for yourself set yourself free from energies that are either not awakened or pulling you down or keeping you stuck or making you feel like unappreciated whatever that may be and i feel like you're always the one that's making these choices for your life okay and those are not, it's never easy. It's never easy. But we're going to get more into it. We're going to see what's coming in for Taurus. Yeah, Four of Swords. This is beautiful. You have rest. This is a lot of rest. So the Four of Swords is about recharging. And there's a need to rest after a period of struggle or stress or heartbreak or sadness. It could be feeling very detached from love or the outside world. Now, it feels kind of similar to Scorpio's reading. There's no time on healing okay um something seems to be coming in very slowly into your energy yeah and in the in the challenge there could be a lot like not wanting to fight with people you're not competing with anyone it's like you're you're on your own journey and it feels like maybe somebody was com some people maybe competing with you without you even knowing it okay taurus in the past, it looks like there was an offer or a promise or something here with an energy. Four of Wands and Death. I feel like somebody in the past was not ready. It's like was not ready to give you that solid foundation because they weren't being honest with themselves. Okay. But I don't feel like they wanted you to know who they really were in the past and what they were was a page. All they could give you is page energy, which is words and false promises and fake futuring. That's what I feel in the past very strongly because on their mind is a relationship and why they're thinking this is because they're thinking of this ending of the relationship. It was a challenge to be with you because to be with you, they had to either level up or continue to carry this facade that they couldn't carry for too long to keep you around because i feel like a lot of you guys may have been through a lot or been um again making those like you're just coming up very like no excuses i'm okay to be alone i'm okay to do things but you're just not gonna let anybody into your energy. That's what I'm feeling here. This person is constantly, I feel, thinking of this connection, the end. And I feel something new is coming in for you. And it's requiring for you to have patience. No matter how long it's been, something is coming in at just the right time, I feel. Now, in the near future, there could be somebody wanting more information because I do feel a, a page energy like an immature energy is thinking about you. And I feel like they're still coming in as immature with the page. So there may be some spying going on. But again, something is coming in in divine timing. It's having you, it's, Sperry is wanting you to have faith in the divine. Okay. Something is line, aligning in your life. And it's requiring you to have patience and to continue on your journey and and um there you are that's so gorgeous continue to be strong and pure-hearted 
don't let energies harden you. That's what I'm getting. And I don't feel like it is, but I also feel like you're just on this, you're so strong with the strength card. It's like you have to be strong for yourself, you know? And with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, you're literally coming in as a nurturer, a loving person. This is an energy that doesn't really need anybody. You're already grounded and stable within yourself. This is you knowing who you are and what you want. Okay, and I do feel like something is coming in for you, but someone else still could be spying that had competition or like that gave you fake promises or something. They're looking at, they could have ended already because they're thinking about this connection. They're thinking about this relationship or again, this connection could be a, been a twin flame situation. And the reason why they're thinking of this is because it's ending. They can't really seem to accept the ending. So you might, they might be creating fake profiles or trying to gain information on you. But in the outcome, things are changing for you. So let's see. What is this Knight of Pentacles? Oh my God, that's beautiful. Something is coming to you full speed ahead, you guys. With the Wheel of Fortune. It's like there's a need to open up to this. It's like, it feels fun, exciting, like playful and mutual connection. It's like starts off very playful, like not so serious, you know, it's like kind of catches you off guard a bit. But the crazy part is that you're, I feel this is you coming up fun, coming up like no, not taking things so seriously, like, okay, you know, and this person is coming in your life pretty solid, okay, and they're pretty patient here. You, It could be another Taurus Virgo Capricorn coming into your energy, and we also have fire, but I feel like this is your energy, the fire sign. I don't know, there's something divinely guided here, and this is for you. The will and the outcome is bringing in something for you while you're in this healing or on this really detaching, you're kind of retaching a bit from the outside world. Yeah, not wanting to fight, seeing, see, the truth has already been revealed to you about something here. There could be still a little bit of inner conflict when regarding a past energy, but I feel it's already death. It's already ended, okay? Something came to an end. This person is still thinking about it. You may still be in conflict about it here. And that could be why you're at the Four of Swords too for some where you're kind of needing to rest <laughs> or recover from a person. But something else is coming in and this is truly divinely guided. This other person was very sneaky, guys. The one that's ended. This is why it ended because they were sneaky. They held back a lot. See, this is a person who has a one track mind and not willing to, to see things. It's like they don't really believe in themselves. They hold on to old ways of thinking. This is an energy that repeats a lot of mistakes. You've dealt with a very deceptive person who wore many masks as to why it ended because they were resisting and you saw right through this energy. They still kind of bother you a bit though. They're like, I feel like a bother, like you're bothered by them. You're just like, ugh, they're so annoying. <laughs> Let's see what this page of pentacles is. This is more in the past position. Yeah, you had to release this person. Hmm. They were just making things harder or you felt that the moment that they entered your life or the longer they stood in your life, that things were just getting hard. I feel like you just had to release this person. They're, the Seven of Swords is not okay. Like the, this person is like lies of deception. They even had other energies around, not telling you. 
they self-sabotage, they're very destructive, they even have jealousy. This could be like even someone who commits fraud, right? <laughs> yeah, no, they're not true to themselves. This person is, is very, very sneaky. Oh, but they're so in complex still. I know that maybe a lot of you guys are not wanting to hear about the past, but they're coming up. All right, this person is in complete conflict. They are constantly thinking about you, Taurus, and about this connection, no matter what. That's probably why you still feel irritated or feel their energy because they're thinking about you. They are so conflicted that this has ended. They didn't want this to end, but they're gonna, they wanna win at all costs because so, they want you to feel like conflict, conflicted within the mind. They, they want you to feel how they're feeling. But Tauruses don't hold on to things for too long. Tauruses are strong naturally. And, you know, once you break a Taurus's trust or they start, you know, the, I feel Tauruses will give a lot of chances and love you to, to the end. But when there's too much noticeable sneaking around and it starts really affecting your peace, or your money <laughs> i feel like you're just not no you you that's loyalty like that's that's why i feel where taurus cuts people off right and once you're done you're done so i feel like there is an energy of you're done but since they're thinking about you and so attached to your energy that's why you're thinking about them sometimes they're stressed out yeah they're feeling isolated alone they feel lonely without you you made a big impact on them and right now they're feeling isolated, lonely, don't know what to do. I feel like they're very miserable, to be honest. I mean, they can't just lie. There. I mean, it looks like they lie through. They lie their way through life. And you are coming up as strength, pure from the heart. Like this is courage. This is you. You're not an energy that's going to be down for too long. A person, right? Now, there is a choice coming in. Someone's filling out a crossroads. Okay, this king of swords person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be this energy, but someone is like, cannot stand that you're not making a choice to come to them. And I feel this person is going to be sitting in this regret for, I don't know, maybe all of December and still not making a choice but sitting in this bitterness because they expected you to do something and you're not doing it instead the divine is bringing in you something else and instead you're recovering and you're healing and you're growing from this and this person is still trying to trigger you in some way but you're already kind of over this shit like there's no going back for you and there's this this stagnant miserable energy ten of pentacles knight of cups someone is coming in to your energy and you don't see it coming and i feel it's a relationship someone's spying on you they're spying on the empress i do see something new coming in though so this could be both a couple energies here that are into you and it's because you're the empress because you're knowing your worth male or female this is unconditional love this is you carrying yourself very in high confidence which is very attractive so you are coming up like that you're no longer cloudy hmm something you don't see is coming out is coming and with the ten of pentacles there's like an energy of like non-committal but all that's changing for you but there is just like a, a feeling of the universe brings something really good in and mm, it's pretty exciting <laughs> just a couple of nights coming your way <laughs> i want you so badly yeah they do but they're not making any moves i don't know who the heck this is it could be a bunch of people i hide behind material things someone could be more successful than they appear or acting more you know happier than they really are i'm grateful for the spiritual lesson and your intellect arouses me. Do I still have a chance? And 
I don't feel like you see a long term with this energy though. And I want to feel that way again. You know, I think Mercury retrograde or something's coming. I have to, I have to look it up. Um, to where past may be coming back. Okay. Not for all. And I feel like there, some are going to appear out of nowhere and the past may be coming back. But I don't feel like you see long term with somebody here with one of these options you have because I feel you're just really good in, within yourself. Yeah, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel that way. And I feel it's more of the five of wands energy. Oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah. And then we have the uh, clarity cards. Okay, this is more of like fortune teller cards. I love them. Message from spirit. So let's see. Let's see what your fortune is. You have a tendency to take things too seriously. That's so crazy because here you don't, it doesn't feel like you're gonna, like you're taking things seriously. It's like you're having fun with it. Okay, so that's cool. I like that one. Let's see another one. The solution is not far away. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> Release doubt. All right, let's put these back. I'll pick two more. I feel like we need two more for Taurus. All right. Be persistent. This is time to keep to yourself. All right, let's get one more. Sorry, guys. I hope you guys like these. I like these. Be aware of self-defeating attitudes or actions that undermine important goals. All right. And then flowery words should not be trusted. Flowery words. Love bombing. That's what it reminds me of. Careful for the love bombers. They're out there. I'm sure you experienced. Maybe that was that past person. They're a love bomber where they come in all charming with a facade. But really, they're a crazy person inside. And they... they act weird i don't know love bombing is a way a tactic a lot of people are using nowadays to make you feel like they're your soulmate and if you haven't experienced this it kind of feels too good to be true it's like really too good to be true and it moves pretty quickly and before you know it then the person starts moving away from you and then that's when you know that this is a love bombing situation and then you never see that that person that prince charming or that person that you saw in the beginning you never see them again they just turn into this complete weirdo okay that's how the best i could describe it <laughs> maybe that's what you guys dealt with hmm that's what it kind of feels like ah uh, but I feel like Spirit is warning you, which I, you guys could have already experienced, the love bombers. They're out there. All right. And maybe that's why you're not taking certain energy seriously if they behave that way. All right. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it here for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soul, soul, can't even talk, very soon. I also have the single readings coming out. I'll try to get them out this week also with the mid-December. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. God bless.